Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, today I am in Bangalore and I am going to introduce you a multi-utility vehicle in this video. So this is Beam from Ozotech which is newly launched and it comes under multi-utility vehicle category. So in this video, let's know all the details about this multi-utility vehicle. Friends, this is Beam from a Coimbatore based company called Ozotech. Ozotech was founded in 2002 and from then they are into the manufacturing of pumps and motors. Recently, they have launched a low speed model called Philo which is available in Tamil Nadu and today they have extended their portfolio to the multi-utility segment with this Beam electric scooter. So if you observe this, this resembles the petrol version of TVS XL. So basically we can say that this is a loader vehicle. It has a loading capacity of 350 kgs friends now let's discuss each and every element of this electric scooter so first of all here we have two led side indicators a tiny side indicators at the front along with a halogen headlamp so under this we have telescopic suspension along with metal mudguard so the first highlight of this electric scooter is this whole electric scooter is equipped with metal body along with a strong tubular frame so this indicates how strong this beam electric vehicle is and when it comes to tires, it comes with a 13 inches tires in the front and rear along with spoke wheels. And they have used drum brakes in the front as well as at the rear. So if we hop onto the handlebar, so this handlebar resembles you the exact TVS XL model. So here you get a tiny horn, side indicator button and uh, two switches to control the headlamp. So here you can observe the brake levers and at the right side you have power button and this electric scooter has three riding modes 1, 2 and 3 and a forward and a reverse mode. So this is the dashboard of this beam electric vehicle. In the dashboard you will get speed and odometer. So this is a pretty simple looking dashboard. So as this vehicle comes under the multi utility purpose, so they have minimalized the design and features in this dashboard. But they have provided a dedicated mobile holder for this beam electric vehicle vehicle because this comes with a bluetooth connectivity and this battery as smart bms that means this vehicle has a dedicated app connectivity which is free of cost and you can monitor all the battery details vehicle details and uh, all the other information related to this electric vehicle so let me hop on to this beam once and let you show the riding position so this is the riding position of this beam so this handlebar is adjustable you can adjust this handlebar according to your comfort so the riding position is pretty comfortable and here you can carry luggage as i already said this comes with a load capacity of 350 kgs so at the rear you will get a 60 customizable options as you can customize this electric bike according to your usage as you can see on the screen now you can customize this electric vehicle as per your wish Guys, here we have the CEO of this Ozotech, Mr. Bharata. Hello. Hi, Mr. Bharata. How are you? Fine. Okay, so uh, as you have 20 plus years of experience in this industry, so why you particularly choose this loader segment? Actually, uh, it is not a loader. Uh, you can use it as a loader also. Okay. It's a multi-terrain vehicle. Okay. Uh, because of it's a multi-terrain, mm -hmm. we need to construct it full and metal body. Okay. So, in, 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 in metal body, we have challenges. You yeah. know, I think. Yeah. 
uh, in a EV, if we increase weight more and more, mm. the range will decrease. decrease yeah. So these are uh, big challenges we have. We addressed everything. Okay. So now you have a vehicle which, which is a multi-utility vehicle. Okay. We can use it for a loader also, and okay. we can use it for multi-terrains. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. So nowadays, major companies are concentrating on the tech features. Yeah. Like the uh, seven inches or eight inches instrument system with a touchscreen yeah. infotainment display. So why you went this uh, traditional system? Yeah. Actually. Our vehicle having all sensors, okay. motor itself we have sensor, in battery pack we have sensors okay. and we have smart BMS, mm -hmm. everything is connected via Bluetooth. Okay. We are offering a free app in the Play Store. Okay. You can download it and install on your mobile. Okay. That app provides all the tech facilities you require. Okay. The top brands you are saying, yeah. giving a more tech facilities. Yeah. Uh, they are focusing on the tech facilities only. Okay. But we are giving it as a free. Okay. That's why we have not uh, disclosed it. Okay. But, but we uh, are, we are, mobile should be attached to it. Yeah, right? mobile should be attached. Okay. Anyway, uh, because uh, I I will tell you something. Mm. Oh, five years back, mm. if you buy a hardware, okay. a mobile hardware, it will uh, it, it is connected to 2G or 3G. Yeah. But now uh, it's a 5G era. Yeah, but you are uh, upgrading your mobile anyway. Mm. But if it is in a vehicle, you okay. are putting a SIM card over there. Okay. If uh, the technology transformed to 3G to 4G, 4G to 5G and 7G, 8G like that. Okay. You need to change the hardware. Yeah. Then only you can uh, use it as a connected vehicle. Yeah. But in our case. The, it is connected via Bluetooth mm. and the mobile is connected to our server. Okay. So this is also a connected vehicle, mm. but through your mobile, okay. not it's a, a standard part of product. Okay. So it, it, it having a flexibility. Okay. So and there is no cost involved. Yeah. And uh, you have launched this uh, uh, beam electric vehicle in six different variants, right? Yeah. So in the base variant, uh, like 1.75 kilowatt yeah. hour variant, how much range you are claiming in that? Yeah, around uh, 95 kilometers. We, actually, this is a practical range, yeah. not okay. IDC. Okay. Okay. So, and the cost of that is uh, 70... Uh, 65.990. Okay, so that's a very good initiative from you, yeah. giving it uh, this product, uh, the strong This is product. after reduction of uh, the subsidy. <laughs> subsidy. Recently, uh, subsidy is reduced, yeah, yeah. You, think, you, you know, I think. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I think that's a big challenge to you to come up with the vehicle in that price segment, right? Okay, okay so as a Made in India vehicle, what are your future uh, uh, ideas about this to take it to the next level? Yeah, actually, eh, mm, my objective is to develop uh, all core component in house okay then only we can control cost otherwise yeah. it's not possible yeah so and you should produce it in a large scale yeah definitely yeah. once we have our own technology we can produce it in a large scale yeah. if we depend uh, technology for others it's very very difficult yeah obviously. so what we done in the last uh, two three years we develop the core okay not the fancy facilities okay anyway you have uh, in your mobile all the fancy facilities you have yeah just with an app we can up utilize all the fancy facilities okay. but the core is the very very complicated part yeah that we developed in-house okay so we are not paying royalty for anybody okay okay like all the best for your future Thank plans you. and uh, you have chosen a right platform and a right segment to take it to the next in level. the future uh, we are having a motorcycle also okay the design is just now started okay maybe uh, uh, next six to eight months uh, you can uh, okay. see the vehicle. Yeah, no, that's a good news. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Friends, the next thing I loved in this electric scooter is its battery and the safety precautions. The battery is equipped in an aluminium pressure die cast body. So that improves the battery safety in its beam electric vehicle. So when it comes to battery variants, the scooter is available in six different variants and in six different battery packs. The highest battery pack capacity is 10 kilowatt hour. Yes, you heard it right. The scooter comes with a 10 kilowatt hour battery in which Ozotic is claiming a range of 525 kilometers so this is the highest range in the segment currently in our India so the lowest variant I mean the starting variant gets a 1.75 kilowatt hour battery in which you can expect a range of 65 to 75 kilometers and the starting price of this beam electric vehicle is 67,000 rupees and the top end variant price goes to up to 2 lakh rupees so in between you will have a first variant in which you will get one 2.75 kilowatt hour battery in second variant you get close to 2.6 to 2.9 kilowatt hour battery next you will get 4 kilowatt hour 5 kilowatt hour 7 kilowatt hour and 10 kilowatt hour battery as i said in 10 kilowatt hour battery you will get a maximum range i mean the maximum claimed range is 500 
125 kilometers and when it comes to motor the scooter is equipped with a mid-drive motor a 3 kilowatt mid-drive motor which is in-house developed so the battery motor and chassis of this beam electric scooter is in-house developed by ozotech so this is a 3 kilowatt hour motor and from the motor to rear wheel power is transferred through a belt so you can see a belt here and this can go up to a top speed of 65 kmph and the rear tire size comes to 16 inches with a spoke wheels and the rear you can see a dual shock observer setup so this is all about this beam electric vehicle which is launched today friends this is all about this multi utility vehicle beam from ozotech so please let us know your thoughts on this electric vehicle as i already said the price of this beam starts from 67000 rupees and the top end variant price goes to 2 lakh rupees so you can choose in between the six variants as per your range requirement and the pre bookings of this beam is going to open from 25th may in the ozotech official website so that's it for today's video guys if you found the video helpful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric